Hi, my name is Jill Sulak, and this is my little helper, Natalie Sulak. Hi. And today we're going to show you how we make our favorite body butter. <laughs> I'm a massage therapist, and so I don't want to play around in those really junky lotions that you buy at the grocery store. They're full of all sorts of chemicals, lots of hormone disruptors. Mm -hmm. So it's easier, it's more economical just to make my own. And mm -hmm. I can. And that's more fun. It is more fun. And you can use it for anything you want, and you can scent it however you want. Today, we're going to be scenting it with Young Living's Lavender lavender, and Frankincense, frankincense. frankincense Essential Oils. Young Living is the only essential oil brand that we trust I'm in our home, and so that is what we're going to be using today. And Gary Young, he's the owner, and he inspired me to make my own blend. Great. All right, should we show them what we use? Yeah. So, okay, so today we're going to be using some, let's see, this one is mango butter. Yeah, and some coconut oil. Coconut butter, yep. Yeah. And coconut we're also butter. going to be using some shea butter. And what's this? This, okay, this is a liquid. You're not really going to be able to see it. But this is sweet almond oil, and I make um, an, an infused oil of calendula oil that I added to it as well. And this is cacao butter. This cacao. is the the fat from chocolate. It smells just like chocolate. It's like white chocolate. And one time my dad, he um, made his homemade chocolate by himself with me. Yep. And it was pretty fun. It's great things if you come over to our house. Mm -hmm. And we also put a little bit of vitamin E oil. So the amounts that I use is I use half a cup of shea butter. I use half a cup of coconut oil. Then I use a quarter cup of, of cacao butter and a quarter cup of mango butter. And I, <clears throat> this time I decided to use a quarter cup of sweet almond oil mixed with a quarter cup of calendula infused oil. If you don't have calendula oil, don't worry about it. Just make it a quarter cup of sweet almond oil. You're good to go. And I throw a little bit of vitamin E in there. Just keep everything good and happy. So over here we've got our double broiler. It's got some water on the bottom and we're going to go ahead. Hot um. I clean the bottom and it is like waterfall and it is so hot that um there's bubbles forming. Ah, there's bubbles yes. forming. Yeah. All right, Natalie, you want, let's get you a spoon. Okay. Why don't you start mixing that up? All right, so we are just going to heat this up, get that mixing around. Mixing around. I pre-measured everything out so that way you wouldn't be super bored of watching me weigh all this out. Yeah. But bowls come in really handy for this. Yeah, and, and I have Sesame Street bowls. We're using Sesame Street bowls today, uh -huh. but you can use whatever bowl you can on hand. Yep. But it has to be little bowls. Otherwise, oh. it will be uh oh. Oh, yeah, they're too much. Oh, I have to start all over again. Great. We've been doing DIY stuff for a while, and it's just so fun that we can, you know, make. Foaming hand soap, we can make mouthwash, we can make bubble bath, we can make deodorants, we can make any type of home cleaners, bathroom sprays, room sprays, lip and, balms, and then, body wash. And instead of buying it, you, you can make it, then that can save more money. Saves you a lot of money. We also make a lot of bath salts. Yeah. They also make really great gifts to give over Christmas time. So many people appreciate the homemade gifts versus, you know, always doing big goods. And we also um, made some gifts for my teacher. That's right. So, she almost has us all melted. That's melting along. Yeah. We'll throw. Mommy, how many of our days until school? I don't know. We'll have yeah. school up later. Yeah. All right. But anyways, I'm excited. It's important to be excited about school. Uh huh. And you want to know when I start? I start after Labor Day. She's lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's mixing that along. And then I'll there show are you. The, huh? There are the yep, they're almost done. Almost done. Finally. When she gets done, we're going to pull it off the stove and we're going to let uh -huh. it cool for a few minutes. And then, like I said, you can scent it however you want to. I'm going to put in about 30 drops of lavender, and I'm going to put in about 12 to 15 drops of frankincense. Once it's cold, then I'm going to pour it into a container, and then I'm going to let it sit in the freezer for about uh, an hour. Um, 
I just kind of wanted to get a little bit hard, but not too hard, because you know what happens when you try to put it in your mixer when it's too hard? You break your whisk, because I'm just not patient. I just, ah, the whisk will take care of it. Yeah, I totally broke my whisk. So we're using a new whisk. Yeah, look at that. We're using a new whisk today. Um, that's still going? Okay. Almost done. It's like... So tiny. One piece so is tiny. Like, one piece is like teeny little baby. See how complicated this is? Um, oh, no, there's only three more most of the products that I, all the ingredients that I ordered, I got on Amazon. Um, I use just Nature's Way coconut oil, now sweet almond oil, Jason's, or however you say the name. Nine. I don't do the little thing on it. I just call it Jason's. Uh, vitamin E. Um, I'm going to use this Rise and Shine's oh, Mango Butter. Great. Okay, great. It's all and then I have I get some bulk of the Shea Butter and the Cacao Butter. Okay, we'll pull this off. Okay, let's go. Let's turn this water off. That is just boiling hot. Okay, we'll add the oils to that in a minute. So over yeah. here, I don't know if you can see, is I have an already done one. So we're just going to kind yeah. of... Rachel Ray, this thing, and fast Rachel forward Rachel. the hour. Whoa, that almost exploded. Almost exploded. Yeah. All right, we're going to get this all mixed up real nice. It's really, really on the whisk. It's like all crumbled up on the whisk. She's normally shy. And my mama is so shy. All right, we're getting this mixed up. I love this because it lasts for a long time. Um, you can add some arrowroot powder to make it less greasy. Clearly, adds a massage therapist. So I like it a little greasy because I don't have to use as much then. Um, I ordered. Despicable Me 2. Despicable Me 2. Alright, I'm going to pull some of these left of their chunks that got stuck inside maybe it's the whisk. Two, maybe it's one. Uh -huh. So the funny thing two. is I was going into work, into one of um, the offices that I'm out of, and one of the guys saw me bringing in my freshly made, um, one of the employees, my freshly made thing of body butter. And he was like, what is that? And his name is Brock, I No, think. it was Trey. Um, oh, Trey. Hi, Trey. Um, he totally thought it was frosting. He got yeah. excited. He wanted to try it. Uh-huh. So. And it was really weird. But that's how whippy it gets. Yeah, it looks like frosting. It's really weird. Mommy, what if you told Daddy and you put it in a cup? Would you like to have a good thing? Look, do you Look, see this? It looks like frosting. Yep. Totally looks you like want, frosting. Guys, do you want some frosting? Do you so, want to look the better? All right. So that's how easy it is to make body butter. And this itself would also make a really great gift around Christmas time or even for your teachers. So thanks for hanging out with us today. And we'll bring you some other fun little DIY stuff mm -hmm. on another day. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.